Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss what causes waves. So the major cause of waves, um, especially ocean waves, is wind. Um, there are other causes. Tides cause some waves and earthquakes cause some waves as well. Um, but the vast majority of waves that you see are caused by wind. So let's look at how that happens. First, you start off with a theoretically calm body of water. Um, you have a cloud and you have some wind coming down. Um, the energy from this wind, as the wind is passing over the water, transfers um, due to friction and it starts to sort of bring the water up with it as the, as the wind is going by. Um, once the way, wind sort of passes over, uh, or once it's no longer able to hold up the water, the water drops and you start to get a wave forming, so uh, this up and down motion that we associate with waves. Um, waves are just the result of wind passing over water, partially lifting it up and then dropping back down. Um, there are a couple of different factors that affect uh, the size and strength of your waves. Um, let's take a look at those as well. So the three main factors affecting waves and wave size are the wind strength, so a stronger wind is gonna make larger waves. Um, that's just because there's more energy to transfer over to the water um, at that friction point. Second, um, the amount of surface area that the wind can pass over. Um, so maybe it's not the wind surface area as much as the surface area of the object, so the water. Um, with a larger area for wind to sort of transfer energy, that's gonna generate more waves. Um, and third, wind duration, so longer periods of wind are going to be able to transfer more energy to the water, which also creates larger and more frequent waves. So this has been a discussion of what causes um, oceanic waves and, and waves in bodies of water. Um, thank you for joining me for this discussion.